Hello everyone. So let's continue with our tutorial. So we have created a project using the command ng new and now we will create a let's see how it looks. Okay, this is the default angular output. Oh no, sorry, we need to go inside the project and then we can fire this command ng serve. And when you fire this command, it basically launches uh, this Angular uh, application and um, on some default port, uh, I think it's 4200 and on your default IP address, that is a local host. Okay, so once this launching uh, is done, uh, it tells you that compile successfully, open your browser on this address, so you can copy this localhost 4200 and uh, you can uh, paste it here and when you hit it you get this output okay so this is the default and it says that p3 app is running okay so that's the default output and uh, what you can do is you can open a visual studio right and uh, using the open uh, you can open a local folder so inside the test we created this project right so i will open it and uh, when you open you will see that it has this src folder these are some configuration files so you'll have package or json which will tell what are the packages that are installed it holds all the versions of the packages and it has angular.json which holds uh, some style set related information the assets etc and uh, this is the uh, app uh, so it creates one default component app component for you okay and this is the html that we are seeing right now this is the output okay so if i select everything and delete and if i go here i'll see that it has blank now so here i will say h1 and we'll say welcome to heroes demo okay and as i save it it should reflect it immediately here right so this is on fly uh, so it will keep on compiling whenever i make any changes to the project and it will uh, compile and launch it again and you can see the output here okay so uh, yeah this is the first uh, output welcome to the heroes demo and now what we can do is we can stop this uh, running and we can create a new components okay so we'll see that in the next tutorial thanks